guess my experience as, as a player it has led to a, a couple of ideas or epiphanies. First of all, the simpler the guitar is, the better. When you're in a live playing situation, you don't need a lot of switches and knobs and buttons uh, because you're engaged in the activity of either impressing girls or making a musical statement. A guitar in a live situation actually needs to disappear. So the more natural the instrument feels in your hands, the more natural that it hangs if you're, you have a strap on with it, that, those are really fundamental things that, that, that contribute to design. We were in the repair shop business, and so what we would see is, is guys come in, buy a brand new instrument and bring it in and say, well, can you change the frets and change the pickups and, you know, change all of these parts on it. And so we had this history of taking um, brand new instruments and essentially rebuilding them. And, and the idea came about, well, why don't we just take all of those features and, and build that guitar? One of the misconceptions from the 80s was that Jackson Charvel was a heavy metal guitar company. And certainly there were any number of guys that played the guitars that were heavy metal guys. But we also made guitars for a lot of jazz fusion kind of guys, Alan Holdsworth, uh, Steve Kahn, uh, Bill Connors. Uh, a lot of different kind of players played Jackson Charvel guitars and in essence they were all looking for the same thing which was a great guitar. Because of my history of playing, I, I, even though I was a little older than the guys that were coming along in the early 80s and who became big stars, uh, certainly I, I understood the kinds of situations that they were going to be put in and the demands that were going to be made on them and so regardless of, of how outrageous the artwork was or changes that they wanted made in the design of the instrument, I, ha I had a fundamental feeling for how it was that the instrument should be so that they could, as a workman doing a job, go do their, perform the job that was their livelihood. <laughs> guitars that we were making in those days were tailored very much to the music that was being played at that period of time. And so what we, was, we were providing was really tailor-made for these kinds of artists, the high-performance guitar players. <laughs> 